deputy in town, his name is Morgan. He's the most handsome deputy in the world. He's good with his gun, he's good with a horse, he's good with a lover. Maybe not, but he's good in lot of things. He's a new deputy in the town. Just as deed is called Black Pink. The Black Pink left to do 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 That's not the right rhyme. Previously on Great Date Redemption 2. Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard Thank feelings you. on account of the war? We are all American. Howdy, partner. My name is Arthur Morgan. I am the new deputy sheriff in town. As you can see, this is my my sheriff suits and my sheriff hats and my sheriff mustache. There's a lot of sheriff things. Shut up, woman. I am a sheriff. I'm a deputy. I'm a really important person. Would you please just get out of here? I'm sorry. I'm I'm the deputy. Why can't you trust a deputy? Really? For freak's sake, man. Nobody trusts a deputy. New deputy in town. His name is Morgan. He's the most handsome deputy in the world. He's good with his gun. He's good with a horse. He's good with a lover. Maybe not. But he's good in lot of things. He's a new deputy in the town. He's just as deed is called Black Pink. The Black Pink left to do 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 do. That's not the right rhyme. <laughs> Ah, that's the dumbest jingle, the dumbest music. So, Jose got a mission for me. You know, I like Jose. It's not that I don't like Dutch, but I prefer Jose. He's like a father figure for me. Yeah, he's really take care of me. He, re he really concerned about the people around him. So, I'm going to help him. So, today, Jose, don't need to worry. I'm coming to help you, buddy. What kind of mission are we getting in? Finding a bears? Finding a fish? Tell me, buddy, what do you need? I am here to help since I'm the deputy in town. Could you stop doing that and come here? Okay, I I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh. Oh, is this the moonshine from the bad guy? Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Wow. Aha. Uh -huh. I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <laughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. Okay, let's go. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. You're not coming, John? We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. Okay, we will do. No problem. Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? <laughs> and we sell it to them again. And the trouble to return their stolen goods deserves some reward, don't you? Uh huh. This is really smart of you. But Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses. And all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a great boy. And a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping. Them. I'm a mailman, Jose. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. You know you are. Yeah. You have achieved a lot of things in this world when you got a trees leading to your house. Big trees mean you are rich and a big man or big woman. If you got big trees that leading to your house, you're rich. <laughs> I wish I got a house like this. I don't want a big tree. I kind of want it, but I don't want the, the, the trouble of cleaning the leaf. <laughs> but this is awesome. This is a really nice place to stay in. 
Brace Waiters, what the group name is. Really know how to live. Howdy, partner. I'm the deputy. Modest little homestead, isn't it? How you doing, partner? How are you? What's that in the back there? Your moonshine. They save it for you. I have a word with the man of the house. The man of the house is a lady. Oh. Mrs. Catherine Braithwood. May okay. I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> what he okay. said, do not shoot me, okay? She's at the house. No. You're riding with me? <laughs> Buckle up, boys. <laughs> we'll be watching you. Uh, yeah, keep you watching us. Man. Driver, proceed, please. Stop calling me that, Jose. I don't like to be called driver. I used to be postman and I hated it. Just run with it, okay. What is her name again? Boy in the back? Miss something something breathway. What you want? Uh, Found something. Out in the hills, thought. Thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's out. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over. For the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh, oh look at her. Well, okay, she looked cranky. Rob you. <laughs> oh, it seems that's easy enough. Why don't I do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Yeah, you can do that, right, cranky lady? The alternative is you get shot. Now, oh, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> yeah, she's smart. Thank you very much. Nice doing business with you, me. Something, something, brace me. Listen, uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders. Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders, old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an oh. extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rose, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Ma'am! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> These are all their sons? Wish, okay. I mean, her you sons? come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. Okay. Hey, right. this is a really good hustle, yeah. man. The road saloon. Here we go. Where's the boy? Did you want to ride with me again? I'm gonna give you a really yeah, nice ride. Sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. Good. Wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. Yeah. Oh, no, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah. That don't surprise me. You're a really popular group, huh? Alright. We are the Van de Wheel group. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're... Certain ourselves in his blood feud. <laughs> we'll need something. I ain't playing dresses. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're you're a clown's idiot brother. Jose, please. I'm the clown. <laughs> you're the idiot. <laughs> really? Look. Sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Uh, what are you giving me? <clears throat> Smoke this pipe. Thank you for the pipe. Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. Squint. Stop oh. telling me what to do, Jose. Yeah. What about you? Oh, shh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, right. very funny, Jose. Oh, poor man is hot. Uh, <laughs> there, there. there, there. Don't get mad now. <laughs> That's why I like you, Jose. You're a much a chill person. Eh? You are really kind to the people, you know, to the to our group. I, I really wish that, you know, you ended up in a really good life. 
You know, Jose. I'm sorry, I'm talking. I'm I'm a dumb one. Okay, I need to stop talking. Why is it dumb people cannot talk, Jose? That's 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 the dumbest thing I ever seen in my life. I thought the dumbest people are supposed to be the one who talk loudly. You know, the dumbest people have, you know, the, you know, what's the word? You can't speak. You're turned idiot. Like the courage, you know, the bravery to talk to people. Although they are dumb, they talk dumb things, but they love to talk. That's what dumb people do. You did a smart one to stay silent. Okay, here we are. So we're giving this bottle for free and got money? <laughs> hey, great bargain, man. I'm sorry, I need to stop talking. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> All right. Can I at least have this pipe? You better give back my hat, okay? I'm a deputy. I got a deputy. Oh, he taking it. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys? How'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money! Yeehaw. Hello, Let's hand out the liquor. <laughs> Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's been <laughs> funny. But boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free! Don't get him mad though. His mama made him mad and we buried him. The whole thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas and children. Three drinks. A gift. Bounty. It's a sin to look a gift. When I see a gift. Fast. And you're not good with boring things. Don't be shy, boys. Don't be shy. It's the lady above the Mr. Gray won't be happy about this. Open another bottle. Well, it's all in. There we go. No one for you. One for Mama. Okay, everyone is going crazy. Hey, send a couple this way, will ya? Drink up, drink up. Hey, serve these men, serve these men. You murderous moron. Come for you, sir. Drink up, folks, or you'll make Ben mad. What? What is the spot? Keep coming, Ben. Keep on drinking, Keep boys. Coming. You, me, you're the bastard who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Gentlemen, we're in advertising. Come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh, oh okay, this is not good. This is not good. But I'm good with my gun. I'm dumb, but I'm good with my gun. You fools are playing the wrong game. Oh, you boys got two gun, huh? Two gun, huh? There we go. Do something, Arthur. I am doing something here. Ah! Oh, 
So I can't loot this guy. Do I have still have the fight? Oh, I can loot it. Oh, that was a coming. Are you okay? Oh, for big sake! Oh my god, I almost died there. Uh, let me just loot them. They are Lamont Raiders. I'm not being dumb anymore, okay? Jose, just loot them. Don't be dumb. Like me. Loot them. We got a lot of cool things. You oh, for freak's sake, Jose. You, are you dead? Really, Jose? Really, Jose? Let's go. What are you doing? No, just hold up. Just hold up. Hold up. There's one more guy. There. The guy who trying to kill me last time. Just hold up, Jose. I'm coming. I'm coming. Let me just loot them. Let me just loot them. I thought we, we are not supposed to use gun in this town, Jose. Oh, Dodge gonna be pissed, Jose. Dodge gonna be pissed. 